Breaking news: According to Global News, tattoos are affecting your immune system. How? Well, tattoos have colored pigments, which contain various toxic metals that travel towards your immune system. Hold up, but how much of this is actually true? Recently, tattoos are becoming more popular, whether for cultural, religious, or simply aesthetic reasons. In fact, in 2006, a North American survey of 18 to 50-year-olds found that 24% of this population had tattoos. That's a quarter of the people who live in North America. With this high of a prevalence, it's important to understand how tattoos are applied, the components in the ink, and possible health impacts. Let's start off with the definition of a tattoo. It's the process of inserting color pigments beneath the skin. A needle, whether detached or part of a machine, is coated with tattooing and repeatedly punctures and injects the ink into the skin. The pigments in the tattoo provide the color and intensity. However, the exact contents of the pigments vary largely based on the parlor shops, the tattoo design, and body location. It's important to note that elements like aluminum, oxygen, titanium, and carbon are present in almost all pigments. So, once on the skin, what happens to these pigments? An experiment at the German Federal Institute of Risk Assessment began to answer this question. The experiment looked at four tattooed cadavers and two non-tattooed cadavers. They measured the amount of metal elements in the skin around a tattoo and in adjacent lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are crucial parts of the immune system. They are bean-shaped glands that collect and filter lymph. Lymph is a thick fluid where specialized cells collect and analyze foreign particles found throughout the body. If a particle is deemed dangerous, then in response, the lymph nodes will activate defensive parts of the immune system. So the researchers found that the amount of metal elements in the skin and lymph nodes varied a lot amongst the four tattooed individuals, but generally, these elements were at higher concentrations when compared to the non-tattooed individuals. It seems likely that at least some of the metal elements found in the lymph nodes were transported directly from the tattoo pigments. But the problem with such preliminary research is that the sample size was quite small. Because of this, the results of the experiment may not represent what happens to the majority of people with tattoos. These elevations may only occur in some people and merely happen to have been recorded in the four tattooed individuals used in the study. But a bigger concern is that it is unknown how these metals affect the function of the lymph nodes or how they act once they enter the body. Ines Shriver, the leading author of the study that attracted so much media attention, hopes further research can shed light on the actual health impacts of her previous findings. Keep in mind that our bodies are programmed to get rid of anything foreign. Hence, when you see tattoo ink in the lymph nodes, the immune system is simply doing its job. But other than the fact that tattoos can be broken down and transported throughout the body, very little else can be said about a possible link between the presence of tattoos and immune problems. Dr. Lisa Kellett, a Toronto-based dermatologist, summarized this best when she said, "Metals and tattoo pigments have the potential to be harmful, but we just don't know at this level of research and at the concentrations of the particles that were found whether these findings have clinical relevance." In conclusion, there currently isn't a need to worry. Whether you have a tattoo or are thinking of getting one, what's more important is to be well informed and proactive about seeing a doctor for any unusual developments, and to ensure you go to a safe and sanitary parlor. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to our channel for more demystified medical topics.